Ladies and gentlemen, if you saw my last video, you probably remember this. This is a $50 PC that I managed to fix that was allegedly broken, but it just needed a BIOS update. And today, I'm going to be upgrading it and seeing how it games. So, let's get into it. So in terms of the system specs that we're running currently, we've got an i5-4440, two 4 gig sticks of RAM, a Radeon W2100 graphics card, a Corsair VS450, which is quite important, and this is all housed in some random case. I think it's Antec. Um, it doesn't actually have a brand. So it's a pretty basic system. So let's see what an upgrade does for it. Okay, so I just went on Facebook Marketplace and I found a case in Tumut, which is actually in regional New South Wales. That's about a four and a half hour drive from here. But the case looks to be in really good condition. And funnily enough, I'm actually going to Tumut. So let's go see how the case is. <laughs> So here's the case that I'm going to be putting all the hardware in. It's the Fantex P200 a and for the most part it's actually a really quite good case for the budget. I spent 20 bucks on this and I think that it's actually a really magnificent case for the budget. It'll fit a nice big graphics card and all it needs is a little bit of a clean inside. And the system's looking a whole lot cleaner and I'm really happy with the fact that this was only 20 bucks. Saved me about 40 bucks on a brand new case. So yeah, really good. And we've now got our PC in the new case and I would say that it looks quite good and does the job quite well. So let's test some games out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you're still enjoying this video, be sure to subscribe as I'm trying to reach a thousand by the end of the year and it really helps out the channel. And chances are you're enjoying the video so far. Thanks. Okay, so we're currently playing Siege at 720p low settings, and you can see that we're averaging around 40 FPS on average. It's sort of playable, but I wouldn't say that it's the best experience. So, let's see if we can get a kill with it. Oh, jeez. I'm done for. I'm out. Too easy. So Siege was remotely playable, but it didn't provide a very good experience and I wouldn't say it's very competitive with other players. You can still have fun though, but I'd recommend upgrading, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Let me give you a little bit of nostalgia. This is a nine year old GTX 970. Yes, it was released nine years ago. And I think it's a really good value graphics card at the moment. I picked up this GTX 970 for a steal of a deal at 70 bucks on Gumtree and it seems to be in very good condition. Now one of the big questions you might be wondering right now is how is this gonna run any games? Well, you might be surprised at the performance. It has four gigs of GDDR5 and actually outperforms the 1650, which is quite funny because this only cost me 70 bucks, whereas a brand new GTX 1650 will cost you 250. Don't get scammed, my friends. So let's put it in the system. I must say, I really like these MSI red cards. It just shows gaming at its peak, you know? Now that I've got this thing installed, it might make sense as to why I needed that new case, because quite frankly, this thing isn't gonna fit in that old case. So now that I've got the GP installed, let's see if it works, and hopefully it does, because I spent 70 bucks on this thing. All right, here's the moment of truth. Ooh, that's some nice lighting effect. Nice and simple, but it works and it does the job. And the fans are spinning, and we get a boot. How good is that? All right. Let's jump back into Siege, shall we? Okay, so we're now back in Siege, and holy are we getting some good FPS. Right now we're sitting at 120 FPS, and this is at 720p lowest. As you can see, our GPU has a plenty of room to improve. So I'm just immediately gonna up the resolution to 1080p. Okay, so we're now back at 1080p lowest settings, and holy is it proving that you don't actually need the best graphics card in the world. Yes, you could buy an RTX 3060 and gain some benefit out of it. But if you just want to have some fun and play with some mates, pick up a used GPU off the secondhand market and you can be off to the races in no time. Whoa! I would really recommend doing this as it really helps out with e-waste in the environment and also saves you a fair bit of cash. Honestly, I'm really happy with the way that this is going and I would honestly be able to use this in my day-to-day -day life. The GTX 970 is held up really well considering it's nine years old and I'm really happy with it. Paired with an old i5-4440, this is actually a really good combo and I'm really happy with how things are going. But not everything revolves around Siege, so here's a full list of benchmarks in games. Fortnite at 1080p performance settings gave us over 120 FPS on average. Unfortunately, we were being bottlenecked by our CPU, but this is still a great result as an i7-4770K can be had for about $40. 
giving you a fair bit more performance. In Valorant, we got 187 FPS on average. This is a really great result, especially considering that our 1% lows were still above 144 frames. This means you could conceivably use a high refresh rate monitor and gain some benefit out of it. Now back in Siege at the 1080p low preset, we got 174 FPS on average, with 131 as our 1% low. But when we bump up the graphics to 1080p Ultra, we still get a whopping 134 FPS on average, with a considerable increase in visual quality. So I'm really happy with how this upgrade turned out. I spent $70 on a GPU and $20 on a case upgrade, as well as spending $18 on the power cable that the guy didn't include, and that brings our total cost of the build to $158. So not a bad price for a good gaming PC that consistently gets over 100 FPS in every game. So make sure you subscribe for the next video where I'm going to be selling it on Facebook Marketplace for a profit, and I'll be going step by step through how to take photos, how to list it, how to make sure that you're going to be safe when you're selling it. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one as I'm trying to reach a thousand by the end of the year. As always, I'm TechBiz and I'm out. I actually genuinely had a lot of fun on this video.